Hi there. So, um, Ultramancer here, or whatever. Probably not going to be sticking with that name. Um, I know I haven't uploaded anything in a while. Uh, and the reason is I've been really working on trying to, um, get my, I guess you could say studio, um, in order. Uh, when I was recording videos before, um, everything was kind of haphazardly put together. I was, um, my room was a disaster area. It was very cramped. I couldn't move around. I had no space. I've always felt claustrophobic. Um, but I've actually, I'm not going to show you my room as it is now because it's also a mess, but it's a much better mess. Yes, a better mess. Um, I'm going to pause this and make sure the sound is recording properly. Okay, so the sound was recording pretty low. It's kind of late at night and I don't, don't want to talk very loud. Um, I'm recording this on a Logitech C615. That is, it. yeah, Logitech C615. Um, now the webcam I usually use is a uh, Logitech C920. The reason why I'm using this one is because I just bought it. Um, and I kind of guess I want this to be sort of a uh, sample video. Not that this particular model really needs a sample video, but you know. Um, it's a really good webcam, honestly. Um, if I had known the quality of this webcam before buying the C920, I probably would have just gone with the C615 because it has a pivoting head which is really awesome like you can that would be extremely convenient to have unfortunately I can return the C615 I cannot return the C920 so I mean I'm not complaining per se but from what I'm seeing I really like the 615 better than the 920 um, for a number of reasons uh, in particular the colors are they seem to be much more vibrant richer in the uh, m um, not they're more natural looking they're more they're more like you don't need to do play around with the settings as much to get a uh, uh, a more natural tone with the 615 whereas with the with the 920 it's very the tones are very um, low contrast it's all very hazy and muted um, you can play around with the settings but all the settings are the same the setting controls are the same as with this one so between the two right out of the box right off of defaults I would say that the 615 is a uh, bad, not not superior the image quality is definitely better with the 920 but the um, the ease of use, uh, the automation of the 615 seems to be more refined. And also the pivoting head, as I stated, is definitely a benefit, especially I, I like to shoot um, when I'm doing picture in picture with like a face cam type of setup. I prefer to do that capturing in portrait orientation versus landscape because portrait tends to be... Um, show more of me and take up less space of from the subject um, and doing that with this camcorder or webcam would be much easier um, but anyways I'm getting way off topic the reason why I haven't been uploading as I stated is because I'm trying to get my studio space in order um, it is much more in order than it is but again um, I've been trying to refocus, change my focus less on um, shooting videos specifically for YouTube and more diverging into live streaming. And I have several, I want to do two distinct live streams. They're going to be on the same channel, but they're not going to be part of the same 
daily sh they're not going to be a single stream they're going to be two separate streams i'm actually holding the camera so um um the first is going to be a creative live stream where i'm drawing um i want to have two camcorder two webcams because i'm not going to be doing things on the computer so much as um recording myself um drawing on paper so i need one webcam to video the paper and then another webcam to be a little bit panned out uh, so you can see me at a different angle um, I haven't figured out exactly what angle is but I, I definitely know that I want that I want you to be able to see me contextualized in my environment while I'm doing this as well as seeing what I'm doing on paper and the other of course will be a gaming live stream um, I really had in mind doing older games like old PlayStation 1 games, um, though there's a few game, modern games that I plan on playing. Like I'm really, really interested in playing Super Hot, and um, I have Fallout 4. I haven't even touched it yet. I'm really bad when it comes to actually playing video games, as weird as weird of a concept as that may be, that seems to be, but that's really where my ADD hits me hard is where I just, I can't, I have a hard time staying focused on video games. I love video games, but they're just, it's difficult to get into them. Um, anyways, um, like I was saying, I wanted to get my studio space in order, so I'm gonna, move the camera back so you can kind of see a little bit more of what it looks like this is actually going to be a benefit where the pivoting head comes into play so like because i can move this over without having to play with anything like god i wish this was the webcam i bought um but yeah this is this is actually seriously oh my god if you need to get a webcam do not go with the c920 get the c6 615 just the pivoting head the directional control of this thing right on top of your screen is so much better like if you really need the higher definition high the crisper picture then yeah go with the go with the 920 but if you you're just this the the 615 is just way way superior i don't know why they um went with a different form factor they really should have just upgraded this one with the higher quality images and the focusing is just as is just as quick and smooth um if not smoother honestly um but yeah the um this right here is actually an afghan um i went with that I'm not even going to get into it. I might discuss that some other time. Um, and behind the green screen, you can't really see, but if you look above it, you can see I'm peeking out. I've put some foam on the wall. Because <sighs> apparently that's what you got to do if you're on YouTube. Foam panels on the wall make you a good YouTuber. Um... I'm recording this in OBS, actually, not in um, uh, the normal web webcam recording app, the one that comes with the Logitech webcams, because I uninstalled that. The reason I uninstalled it is because I was running into conflicts with the two webcams, and that's actually, as I stated, why I'm returning this one, because I wish I didn't have to, because the image quality is so good. They work really well together, but I'm having issues running with OBS and the two webcams because there's, I, I suspect it's um, driver conflicts. Um, I mean, I have 15 days. I might hold off on returning it and no, I, I really shouldn't keep it if I don't need it because it was like 45 almost $50. Um, but the, um, Um, but yeah, uh, the 
the webcams, they were giving me a ton of problems. Um, when I would close out of OBS and then try and reopen it, um, it would just completely crash the computer. Like I got blue screens twice. Um, and I just can't be, I can't be dealing with that. I can't be running that risk of, um, having my webcams just completely or crash my computer. Also, I have two screens now. The dual monitor setup was not cheap. It wasn't super expensive either, but it was definitely not cheap. Um, so I'm having a hard time making this benefit me productively like it sh as well as it should. I mean, it definitely is a benefit. Like I do have a lot, I, it makes it a lot easier to work on one screen and not have it be all cluttered up. So it, you know what I mean? It helps. Um, it is a benefit. Um, really the reason why it's could be better is because, um, it's on an articulating arm, a dual monitor arm, which is mounted to the back of my table, my desk. And the arms aren't quite long enough to get them comfortably close to me because I have very long legs, so my knees come up very high. So I can't be under my desk like some people can be. You know what I mean? Like I can't actually sit comfortably with my knees tucked underneath. So I need my screens to be much pull very close to the edge of my desk which I can't do with this setup um, without pulling one of the monitors in front of the other at which point it kind of defeats the purpose of having two monitors because I can't see about four inches of the screen like that um, but yeah so that's where I'm at right now I'm probably not going to be recording any gameplay videos or any um, art videos or speed drawing videos f right away and when I do start doing it again it's going to be live stream um, highlights and or sped up video in the case of drawing um, because that's kind of where I want to focus because I because I, I need to build an audience and building an audience on YouTube is practically impossible um, the the whole situation right now is just a nightmare of like it's just everything's over bloated with like reaction channels and um, just just shit content that nobody needs or wants just over bloating the, um, the the system so it's like almost impossible for anybody new who actually has something they want to want to show and say original from being seen um, and building an, a legitimate audience. Um, I've whenever I try and share my videos elsewhere, I just get freaking nothing but hate, like of people saying, "Oh, quit self-promoting, you piece of shit," or whatever. Um, I'm not giving up. I, I, I this is something I want to do, but I'm just gonna go about it differently. Because um, Twitch seems to be something that attracts. You can attract an audience much more easily on Twitch. Um, then I'm also trying to build up a good presence on a few sites like uh, in, uh, Reddit. I'm trying to. Um, uh, I hate Reddit. I totally hate Reddit. I hate. I hate all aggregator sites of that nature. But they are a useful tool, and if you just look at them as, if you just approach them as such, they are going to see through it, and they're gonna not respond so I need to actually play their game to get better accepted by them that way I can utilize them <laughs> to self promote myself Go figure. <laughs> no I mean not serious I really need to um, not entirely serious I mean yeah self promotion is a is part of it but not really um, the singular goal like I do want to create I do want to make connections and uh, build a um, I don't really don't know how to put this into words like I don't have any online friends like realistically who do the things I do and I kind of want to just like um, make connections who share these interests potential collaborators and um, 
uh, people who can help me cross promote like I'll promote them they promote me maybe we work together that type of thing um, people who want to get like involved in co-op gaming and uh, Skype call type things or maybe podcasts or something whatever who knows what I want to do with my life I'm almost 30 and I have done nothing <laughs> But um, actually, speaking of which, today is my birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday! I'm 28. But it doesn't matter. Um, because it doesn't feel like my birthday. I don't feel happy about it. Because I'm so freaking stressed by all of this webcam bullshit. Um, how long is this video? Oh my god. If you've watched this whole thing, you are awesome. Um, but you probably haven't. So I'm going to wrap it up. Um, yeah, so bottom line, I just need to, I'm still trying to find a good webcam. Oh, that reminds me, um, droid cam is fucking terrible. <laughs> I keep seeing people talking about it like it's great, um, but I installed it on my S5 and I downloaded the, I, I installed it once. I installed the full version, the pro version once and paid for it and I couldn't get it to work right. Like I could not like the client that they give you on your computer to use it with um damn it cat this is my cat he is itching himself um the client that comes with droid cam is just completely shit um there are two versions of it there's a version 5 and there's a version 6 Ugh. Um, when you install version 5 which has the necessary functions um, it doesn't work with the app on the phone the app says it's an it's, it's an outdated version and just will not connect and then the point the version 6 it doesn't have the features necessary to even adjust resolution I paid extra money like I paid four dollars for your full version of this app so that I can use 720p which isn't even like standard anymore um, resolution and I can't even switch it because you didn't put the switch into the program um, I installed it once before and I was given the option to refund it and I took it and then I noticed oh wait there's a different client so I thought maybe I installed the wrong one so I downloaded the program again to install the client and now because it's the second time I've downloaded it I'm no longer able to refund the product which is pissing me off. So yeah, um, don't go with Droid Cam. It's the best option, I will admit. Like the other friggin' um, turn your cell phone into a webcam apps for Android are just they're all IP cams, which there's a lag, so they're completely useless for useless for almost any application where you have a multi camera setup. But for as, so as far as USB camera apps is concerned, Droid Cam is like the only one that actually works, but even it sucks. Um, so that option for me, which was like my only other option for having a high quality video feed for a second camera is not there. Using another Logitech is not an option, which sucks because Logitechs are like the only high quality cameras that are in an affordable price range and since I'm stuck without being able to use one of them I'm I've just had a nightmare of a time trying to find another one um, like literally I've spent like probably over 12 hours scouring Amazon looking up uh, model numbers on YouTube trying to find sample videos and they're, they're just always terrible videos like these people do not know how to record a fucking sample video to save their life. They like record, they, they buy like a 1080p webcam and they upload the shit at 720. They buy a 720p webcam and they upload the shit at 480. It's like motherfuckers record it or upload it at the fucking resolution, encode it into resolution that you have recorded it at. Like make sure you have good lighting. Don't just fucking record it in your goddamn shitty basement with one light on and like at like half the resolution it's capable of upload it online and then say, oh yeah, this thing is blah, 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 blah. No, fucking learn how to use it first. Um, and it's just a fucking pain in the ass. Try just like finding a good sample and 90% of the ones I'm looking at since I'm looking for, I don't need 
what I need, like I said, I need it portrait oriented. Portrait oriented means lower resolution essentially becomes higher resolution, like a uh, 720, like a 720p camera in portrait orientation is essentially a 1280p camera. Um, and then that would be scaled down to about like 60 or like what? I don't even back down to 720p, but whatever. Um, but yeah, you get my point. I don't need a I don't need another 920 and I want to be able to another run another 920 anyways. Um, but finding something even in a low quality like that, that's like as lossless. That's the really way to put it. As lossless as Logitech cameras tend to be is like impossible. Like Logitech is definitely the best. Anybody who says otherwise, they don't know what they're talking about. Um, but yeah, so let me just put this back up there for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you've watched this far, I know I didn't stop talking or rambling this entire time, so perhaps that kept your attention. Um, if you liked this kind of video, me just rambling off at the mouth with nothing useful to the world to say, then please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And, oh, yeah, it'll be in the description below, but the, um, my Twitch channel will be twitch.tv slash here's jolly h-e-r-e-s-j-o-l-l-y um it's a play on pretty much my go-to username for the past like 10 plus years um i kind of want to move away from it and but it's just kind of part of who i am um so i took the key part of uh, it's jolly adam roger um is the username um like I said, I kind of want to move away from using that so much, but I don't, but I really want to keep a part of it because for a long time, people online, like in games and whatnot, have always just didn't want to read the full things. So they would just call me Jolly. And I've gotten used to hearing that. I kind of think of it as a nickname. I don't have many nicknames. I've never been a nickname kind of guy. But since that's sort of one that I already have, I'm just going to go with that and reshape it in a sense so that's what I'm doing I'm going with here's Jolly I've already already got the channel um, like I said I'll probably be rebranding this channel into a here's Jolly channel in the future because Ultramancer is kind of stupid and people just don't get it <laughs> um, and it's kind of self absorbed and self righteous and I don't even know what words I'm looking for like it's cocky um, I mean, I'm kind of a cocky person, but whatever. Maybe I should try and be more humble. Um, yeah, but like I said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You, subscribe. You know the you know the drill. Um, have a nice day and happy my birthday.